This video, I'm gonna teach you how to look at those gill rakers and sunfishes. So before I get a fish here and actually show you how I look at the gill rakers, let's just go over what the gill rakers are and what, where they actually are located. And so the gill rakers are these bony extensions that grow off of the gill arches and they're right above the red gill filaments. And the filaments, of course, are for respiration and other gas uh, chemical exchanges. And so the gill rakers act as sort of a tool for retaining food organisms as well as protecting those red gill filaments. And these are found by lifting up the gill plate or gill cover, more technically called the operculum or the opercular apparatus. And the operculum is made of four bones there. You have the preopercle, which is up front, then you have the interopercle, the subopercle, and the largest bone there, the opercle, which is the, the fleshy extension called the opercular flap or ear flap is what is uh, on top of that bone there on the dermal tissue. There are many variations of sizes and shapes and distancing between gill rakers in sunfishes within the genus Lepimus. And we want to look at the gill rakers on the dorsal to central part of the first gill arch. Being able to quickly look at the gill rakers can help with an ID if you have caught an odd looking specimen, uh, especially with a hybrid sunfish. For example, here is an image of some bluegill rakers, which are long and thin, and here is an image of reddier sunfish gill rakers, which are short and thick. This hybrid I caught shows an intermediary size profile between the two parent species. What we're going to do is I'm just going to catch a fish here, and then we're going to I'm going to show you how I do that and try to get a good close-up angle for you. All my sunfish identification tutorials and other information is found at koa.org forward slash sunfishes. So firstly, I'm just going to show you how you should grab your bluegills or any of your sunfishes, really. And I can do it in the tank here because I want to show you the fins. So, at the top here, if you can see, these are sharp dorsal spines on the first dorsal fin there. These are very sharp bones and they can pierce your skin pretty well. Also, the pelvic fins here have a sharp spine right there, that first one. And all sunfishes have three sharp anal spines right down here. That'll get you. So when you hold a sunfish, you need to think about collapsing all of those. So basically that right there, that's a collapsed fins. That's how you want to hold them. So when it comes out, you've got all the fins collapsed, the fish is fine, and you're fine. Really my technique uses two thumbs, or index fingers on smaller specimens. The thumb on the hand holding the fish will be waiting to slide under the flap once the other thumb gently lifts the gill plate using the front or back side of the thumbnail. Then gently slide in that other thumb to act as a prop to hold the gill plate open so you can take a peek at the first gill arch. Sometimes the gill rakers will stick together and you'll have a hard time seeing them, but you can add a little bit of pressure down on that gill arch to separate them for a better look. Now if that first gill arch is stuck to the gill cover like it is here, you will need to flatten it. If you were to analyze the fish from this vantage point looking at the interior side of the first gill arch or the second gill arch, you would not be looking at the rakers in the manner needed for a proper analysis. Grab something that isn't sharp, like a credit card or your fishing license, and gently slide it along the top of that gill plate or the inner side of that gill plate and push down on those red filaments. Remember that the red filaments are fragile and bleed easily and it is dangerous to the fish if you harm these. So don't penetrate the red filaments, just apply a light pressure on the top and push down. So here we go, one more time with the GoPro. You're just gonna take your thumb and you're gonna meet the end of that gill plate. You're gonna kinda push it up. Then you're gonna take your other thumb and prop it up. And then you can look under there, you kinda wedge your thumb in a little bit more so you're putting down on those gill filaments 
and then get the light right you can easily see that this fish has long and thin rakers which is typical of a bluegill so we let him go now fish will be fine so you should be set to go figure out those rakers by now big thanks for watching and thanks to the patrons of Cohen nature for making this educational awesome nature content possible fish responsibly and good luck